So, when we last left our heroes, we had a passing test. Woohoo! That's. That was a lot of. That was 14 lines of code for one passing test. Let's go back to the um, definition of things here. Plan out. Totally didn't do that. Get the logic to work and make sure the game is working in the console first. Oh, cool. It's almost like I did the right thing without reading. Translate the game over so it updates the DOM. Validates the input. Okay, that's fine. Change the input format so there's no text field if there's a bonus. Input by listening to the okay, that's, that's for later. Bonus for later. And hint button that's for later. Okay, let me do a quick um, keyboard macro here. Actually, no, let me not. Let me do this another way. Let me from here. Let's say I'm anywhere on the line. You find a macro that goes back in the beginning, moves forward two, does this, and goes down. Perfect. So, you can say I'm done with this one. Then the player guesses one letter at a time. Okay, so I need to guess, guess, guess. Hmm, I feel like there's more here than I than what I want to have. This well, not enough. Let me see if I can just add more more things here. I feel like I want to be able to display current state of the word. I want to... what else do I want to do? Um, well, let's begin with that. Display the current state of the word uh, with non-guest characters as underscores. That should be an easy one at first. So it should display the current state, should display all underscores when, when the word has not been guessed. And that should be, uh, that's going to begin the same way. And then, uh, pa, pa, pa. well, I guess I'm going to do something like var display word equals command display word. That I'm going to say expect display word dot length. To equal hangman dot secret word dot length. So there's a there's kind of a concern here that I have about the fact that the secret word is just available to anyone, but right now I'm okay with it. I might later do what Andrew was talking about with putting the secret word in a closure or something, but I just want stuff to work right now, so whatever. First make it work, then make it right. If I refresh this, I should get a failing test. Undefined is not a function, I'm guessing it's displayed word. You know what, I'm missing a test here. I'm missing, um, I think there's a way to like compact Check that all characters are underscore. That should be something like uh, word that split that unique or something. In Ruby, that would be easy because I know Ruby very well. So JavaScript MDN uh, string splits. Perfect. 
That's exactly what I want. And then, now I have an array, I want to go to array. I want to see if array has a kind of unique thing that I can use. If I can use, if I can use unique, I might have a very simple test. No, not quite. Curses. Curses. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll use four each. Oh, there's a there's an every function I remember in here. Perfect. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. So now I can do. Uh, um, I can do displayed word dot split dot for each. And then we have function. Uh, I think it's. I think it takes the element. No, actually, this returns true, right? So I actually want. Uh, this is going to get complicated, right? Hmm. Well, let's see what I can do first. So for each takes a callback. I can change the binding of it. Value index and array being traversed. All I really care about is the value. So I'm perfectly fine with this. And. What I care about is that return element equals underscore. So I expect that this is true. Is there a way to just like say assert kind of sorta? Of? To be false, not to be true, great. Is that the simple one I've got? Yeah. So this is um, var all underscores. And I expect all underscores of to be true. I think that's the right test. All right, so I've got a display word function that I need. Uh, display word uh, I need it to well for now I'm going to do like this that word dot g sub something with an underscore this matter might not work it didn't work I did something strange. Maybe this isn't the best way to do it. Maybe when I initialize, ah, uh, I think hey, there you go. Yeah, then instead, because that'll allow me to to do a check later on as well. I need to initialize here, like a current guess of, or of some sort, and that word that is going to be the the all underscore thing. Um. Oh god, that's going to be a problem with the video. So let's find out how I can do a g sub in a string. Well, actually, no, I don't have to do that, right? Because I can just do for here, I can do like this times word.length, possibly. And if this works, this might be a passing test. No, it's too failing test. Oops. Down to one failing test. Cannot read property length of undefined. This one? That's strange. Hang person to JS line 11, so here. Displayed word hangman that secret word dot length. These things seem like they should work. 
shouldn't I? Oh, I'm not returning anything. Expect undefined to equal 4. Yeah, okay. I don't understand this error, but that's because I don't know what I'm writing. Add stack. This is my code, line 11. Line 11. Expect this pet word dot length to equal hangman dot super word dot length. Again, I should break. I need to break this down. This is too complicated. And yet, current guess is this. Well, maybe this is bad. Let me just do a quick try. See if it actually does what I expect to do. What if I do this times eight? That nah, gets not a number. So that's a Ruby thing I can't do in JavaScript. That's unfortunate. Okay. So let's do um let's do G sub. So MDN string G sub. Or maybe sub instead. Just just sub. Wait, wait, wait. String? That's good. No, that's that's not right. Replace. Replace sounds good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take a look at how replace works. I'm gonna take uh, banana and I'm gonna try to replace everything with an underscore. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. Replace does the first character apparently. Can I tell? Ignore case. Global match. G. Perfect. Not exactly as clean as I wanted, but I'll take it because I don't have a choice. So this the current guess equals. This that word that we place, and then that's gonna be uh, anything globally this way. And the test with any luck, down to one failure. Expected false to be true. Why? Well, I mean, I, I know why, right? But somehow. I'm guessing line 13 is going to be our problem here. Yep, line 13. Where's 32? There it is, yeah. So right here. Our problem is that this is not all true. Very frustrating stuff. Now let's try it. Let's see what we can get. So, var hangman equals new hang person. var displayed word. Because hangman that display word. So good, so far so good. And we could do hangman that secret word. It's word. Good enough. Looks to be the same. So let's take a look at uh, display word that split. Oh, that's not right at all. That's better. That's my problem right here, I think. Here we go. Time to commit. I can display one underscore. I'm very happy about it. This has been like almost 20 minutes already. Man, I'm going very slowly here. I don't think I'm doing progress with this test. Okay, I think the next test I should do is that when I guess a letter correctly, it should display it. To make my life easier here, I need to make sure these words actually share their letters. I can just guess it. Um, which makes me think 
What I probably want to do actually is just pass in an array so I can just control it that way and not hard code it. I need to be able to pass in an array to initialize. So I'm actually going to do that so it's easier. I'm going to define a test words array. I'm going to define this array to have what words? It's going to have the word banana, the word ananas, uh, the word grapefruit, and uh, yeah, that's good enough for now. Clearly my common letter for now is going to be A, and I'm completely okay with it. So this is going to change my test, because what I need to do here, well, actually for now I'm going to do this, a new hang person test words, this way. And if I do this correctly, uh, I'm going to say uh, this that words equals words and then words is going to return, well it's going to return this that word isn't it? And the test broke, I did something wrong. Curses. So what's going on here? What have I done incorrectly? Object is not a function. Or hangman is new. Right, on what line is this line? Hangperson.js. He's actually not in the test. It's line 15 here. Oh, this dot words. Oh, oh, I see. It's going for. Okay. Well. Let me kill this. That didn't fix it. Oh, because now I'm trying to call a function. We really shouldn't be writing code when I'm just that tired. This can be good. Hey, different error. Should give me one of many words. That's not gonna work, because it's not a function anymore. Here we go. Okay. Oh look at that. I called it a dictionary. That's a good word. I should stick to that. I should Remember that I want to call that, that array dictionary. That's a much better thing than words. Test dictionary. I'm going to call it dictionary and this dictionary and this dictionary. Uh, which means, of course, this is a dictionary. This is a dictionary. Dictionary is a good word. Committed. Okay, I need a third test. This test is going to have to guess a letter. So, it should display the guess letter and all underscores. So now I need to, uh, well, I need to say hangman.guess a, and then I should, uh, I should say var display word is this, and then I need. I need to expect display word dot split. Is this correct? No, this way. Display word dot split to contain a. That seems like a good test. What I'm going to do is guess, and then when I display the new word, oh, where's my bottle opener? There it is. When I display the new word, it's going to tell me that I've got. Um, an A. 
for the sake of sanity, I should do the same thing with the underscore. This should fail, or not, because I forgot to close that and that. And <coughs> test words is not defined. Oh, that's in, of course, that's uh, that's in 30, my bad. That's what I get for not doing complete proper commits. Here we go. 100 person spec, minus 7. Words, indeed. This is now test dictionary. And now undefined is not a function. Why? On line 16, right here, guess. I can't call guess because guess doesn't exist. I'm going to put guess up here because it's an important function. Now, because I say this is a letter, I'm thinking I'm, not, I'm thinking this. I'm thinking I should make sure it's just letter and not more of the word. We'll see about this. For now, I'm going to assume it's a letter. So. Well, um, I need to find, let's see, what's, what's one way of doing this? One way of doing this is to find all the indexes in the string where the letter appears, and then for each of the indexes in the, sub, in the other string with the underscores, replace it. The other way of doing it is, the other way of doing this, is to use a regular expression, which you guys haven't learned yet, so it's kind of cheating, and then replace every element that is not an A, that is not the guess. Let's try, let's try that, because I think if I can do that, then I can like, keep track of the existing guesses. Um, and yeah, I know it's kind of cheating because you guys haven't learned regular ex regular expressions yet. But this will be a good primer. So I want to do something like, uh, let's see. Uh, let's say return false unless... Uh, You know, this is, this is very, if I remove the word thing for dictionary, I can kill secret word, really. I can just call this secret word that way. And I can call, I can kill that. That means I need to change, well, I have a test, I have a, I have a test that will break, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, this is this feels a little nicer. So unless this dot secret word dot include, man, I hate JavaScript. Well, that's not true. I don't hate JavaScript, but I'm much more comfortable with um, what's the word? I'm much more comfortable with Ruby than JavaScript. Also, it's almost 10 p.m. So now I need to go back to string and do a check for like include or index of or whatever. Um, oh, that's not right. That's okay, good. No include, so let's take a look at index of. Returns the index or minus one if not found. Great. So Return, that's def, I didn't, definitely not writing JavaScript here. I'm totally in Ruby world. Um, well, let's say if um, if this that secret word that index of letter is greater than minus one. Mm -hmm. 
then I'm going to do something. So actually, let me do an early return here. Let me say if it's equal minus one, I'm gonna like return false. Because that should be, I'll just be done with this, I'll just return false. Based on the documentation, it's telling me that it doesn't have it. And otherwise, otherwise, I need uh, to say this dot current guess is this dot. Oh look, this. Ooh, I think I'm seeing a pattern possibly emerge. Let's see. Let's let's take a look because this is going to be almost the same amount of code. Here, I'm going to do a global replace of everything that is not an A with an underscore. Whoa, it passed. That's very cool. So the, the downside of, um, of the test is that you have to trust that this is, that this is right, because you, you can't see it. You can't be completely wowed by it. So I'm going to commit. Actually, no, I'm going to try it first. I'm going to show you guys here, and then I'm going to commit. So let's say uh, var dictionary is monkey soup boat grit uh, banana. And then I'm going to say Our hangman is new hang person dictionary, and it's a hangman dot secret word. Great, I know it's soup. So now if I look at current guess, it's all underscores. And I'm gonna guess p. I just hard coded a in my code, didn't I? I totally hard coded a in my code. Well, that leaves a different, interesting problem. I need to figure out if I can do, like, how I can build a regular expression in JavaScript. JavaScript builds regular expression. Because I need to, like, dynamically put the letter in there, right? And interpolation would be very nice, but I know it's possible in Ruby, and I don't know if it's possible in... Ooh, look at that. Look how pretty that is. Um... Let me see, uh, pa -pa -pa var, could Ari for now, I don't have a better name. A new regex, then I'm going to say here, bracket, plus letter, plus close bracket, like this. I'm actually going to add the G, no. I don't know how to do it. Let's find out. ABC, ABC, chapter, simple patterns, matches. So this is what I'm using right now. Possibly. Beginning of input. Oh, I'm doing it differently because I'm doing the... Um, I'm doing it inside the squares, inside the brackets. Wow, oh, this is actually very cool documentation for regular expressions here. Very neat. That's a little more complicated. Working with regular expressions, execution, test, match, search, replace. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Oh, like this. It's There's a second argument you can pass in, of course. That makes perfect sense. This way, I want the global one, and then here, I use RE. If I'm lucky, the test will still pass. Nope, broke it. Regexp is not defined. Yep, I'm typing it incorrectly. It's a capital E, all right. That passes, great. Let's try this again. Let me copy 
Copy this over. And then I'm going to say uh, online.guess A. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's, uh, that's definitely working. I am I'm liking this start. Now, of course, this is stuck because it's one guess, but I'm going to have another test that's going to build up on top of this. So, then, tum. I'm going to say, I can guess a single letter. Fantastic. 